Hello, this is Lisa Steinberg with Starry Constellation Magazine. I am joined today by Celestina Harris from Lioness. Hi. Hello, thank you so much for your time. I'm so, so excited for season two. Season one, I feel like I couldn't catch my breath the whole time I was watching it. And I can only imagine that's amplified in season two. <laughs> Yes, it is. Definitely is. You're going to be at the edge of your seat the whole time. With the season two about to come out, speaking of, uh, wanted to ask you if you can maybe tease or share specifically with your about your character or maybe overall generally uh, without giving away, of course, we don't spoil, uh, you know, anything about what, can, what we can expect, pardon me, from your character or from the series uh, in season two. I can't spoil anything about the series, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be amazing. And I think y'all are totally going to love it because I think the show is just like amazing. Like I can't say anything, but it's awesome. Okay. No spoilers, but you can't even tell, tell you, can you tell us a little bit about where we pick up with your character or what she's like this season at all? Okay, yes, I can. So Charlie is definitely spunky and energetic. And um, she also is a little bit older now. She's sort of my age now. Um, I was, I think, nine whenever I played her, and I'm pretty sure she was eight. And now she's 10 and I'm, and I'm 11. So like, I can definitely relate to her. So yeah, I definitely know she's older. And she still has her spunky personality. She loves I think she's a little bit more, you know, sassy, like how you get whenever you're a teenager-ish. Like, she's getting older, you know? With your growth and her growth a little bit in, in line with each other, uh, you know, as both as, as becoming teens mm -hmm. yeah, or I'm both becoming teens. I can definitely relate to that. I can definitely relate. Um, yeah, I think she's definitely growing into... You know how I am. I think I I've always been like really like Charlie, but um I think I can I guess relate to her a little bit more this series because I was yeah, is I think we can relate more. It's really awesome. With the spunky kind of sassy element, do you enjoy portraying that more uh side of her or have you been enjoying uh getting to develop that further? I think it's really fun to play her because she's sort of basically like me. It's like having another life is kind of like a copy and paste, except different storylines. Um, but yeah, I think it's, we're very much alike. So like, I feel like I can just be myself and I'll be able to portray the character really well. And I think I definitely want to dive deeper into her character because I feel like she has, I mean, she's a military child, so she never really sees her parents. Um, I can sort of relate to that because my dad is usually away because he's a first responder. Um, so I can't really see him that much. And also, I travel a lot with my mom, so I don't see him for long periods of time. But um, yeah, I think she lost her, her mom because her mom's in the military, and I can definitely relate that... Um, one of our parents are sort of like because my dad wa works like a really long shift so i only see him for like 30 minutes before i go to bed so i think we have sort of like the same like we get like oh we want to spend time with our parents as much as we can because sometimes we won't get to like i'll be at school pretty much the whole day and he'll be working and i'll see him for just a little bit period of time and the same thing with Charlie. Um, so I think I can definitely relate to that. Well, please, uh, on, at least on my behalf or our behalf, you know, please extend to your father our um, great appreciation for the work that he does as a first responder um, because it is such a selfless job, a selfless responsibility and, and we have a lot of great respect and admiration. So please tell him that uh, we appreciate his duties. Okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you talked a little bit about already, you know, um, with uh, um, with Charlie's mom being absent uh, and working with the military. We previously saw Charlie and Kate uh, had different feelings about their mom's job uh, with what happened to Kate. 
last season has their bond as sisters grown closer at all or will we see that aspect I think so because um whenever you're younger because I also have an older brother and an older sister so whenever you're younger y'all feel like oh yeah uh, I have a sibling but you don't really talk to them as much because y'all are in different like age groups and like whenever whenever you're starting to get older and like see how they are I feel like you get more close and your bond grows and that also happens with Charlie and Kate I feel like they got closer and I feel like they can talk to each other more instead of just like being oh yeah that's my sister mm, we don't really talk that much but like I feel like they have a stronger bond now as sisters because um they kind of relate a little bit more Yeah, as you grow older or go through certain experiences, they can really either drive you apart more or they can bring you even closer together. And um, sounds like luckily for Charlie and Kate, it, it, it brings that a little bit more closer, um, even with the, the their age gap that may be there. Um, the emotion, like obviously they're, high, you know, heightened emotions or, you know, going through stressful or, you know, um, In, you know, <laughs> situations can can certainly have that like uh, that draw to to family members for that comfort, safety when your parent isn't around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you relate to that aspect with your brother as well? Oh, yes. Yeah, I feel like we weren't that close, but like now we're like, oh, yeah, that's my brother. Let's play. <laughs> A lot of your scenes uh, last season were were spent um, in the season with your co-stars Dave Annabelle and Zoe Saldana and wanted to talk a little bit about getting to work with your on-screen parents and what was what has what has your experiences been like um, you know behind camera and and while filming with them. It's really amazing. They're like so awesome and they're really talented actors. It's like just amazing to be around them. Like I feel like season one, we were just kind of getting to know each other. And then now season two, we're like, we're like close. We're like besties. <laughs> and like, I feel like um, Dave is also a girl dad. So he kind of, he's like really kind and sweet. And Zoe also has um, children that are close to my age group. So she can also relate, I can also relate to her. And Zoe was always cracking jokes anytime she got to. It was so funny, like in the middle of scenes, even if we had like a really serious scene, she would really be like, she would just try to lighten the moment. And it was really fun to be with her. And they're both really talented. I felt like Whenever I sometimes I got to watch their scenes and it felt like I was like in like in the middle of an acting class, like I, I was watching someone perform. It was just amazing to learn from them. And they're like awesome parents, like they're the kind of parents that you would want, like they're the best. <laughs> It's like you kind of get the the best of the girl dad and you get the best of the boy mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are a few new cast members uh, this coming season, too. Was there anyone in particular that, um, like I said, you, you worked closely last season with Dave, uh, Annabelle, and Zoe Saldana. Was there anyone new this season that you were hoping to have scenes with or did get to have a few scenes with? Um, I can't say the new characters, but I it would definitely be nice to have a scene with Morgan Freeman or Nicole Kidman. Um, I still haven't got a scene yet, but it's fine. Um, maybe I'll see them in another project in the future, but because they're like like the legends of acting, so like that would be really amazing. But I can't spoil anything. Um, yeah, I can't. I'm No, zipping. <laughs> no, no. I, I can only imagine. I mean, I'm not to say if you have scenes or not, but at least, you know, behind the scenes or, you know, getting to watch them. I don't know if you get a chance to watch them work at least or, you know, even get a glimpse of some of their their acting um, from from uh, from behind um, can only like feel the, the energy and like, the, the you know, to watch, like you said, such, you know, well-established, well-honored actors performing like Morgan and Nicole Kidman yeah I think they're I feel like 
from the mood of the, the clips uh, I've seen because um, I think they were like very serious. Like I feel like like they were kind of like the head. So they were like, you better do this. I'm gonna command you to do this. So I feel like I, I got to see a little bit of their scenes and I also see um, like I feel like um, my mom actually loves one of Nicole Kidman's shows and I see like the happy side of her so like I kind of see like oh how they portray this character and it's really amazing to see them in action. I, I can just imagine, you know, Nicole specifically, and of course, Morgan, who has a humongous presence as an actor on, on screen, but like watching Nicole and kind of like, there's a switch maybe for, for, for either of them um, to, to kind of get into the, that headset, that serious mindset of the characters that they portray and just watching them morph into these people would be incredible. Yeah, it's like really amazing because I know they're like really sweet and then like, and then, like, I see them, they're, like, in the show, and they're, like, and I'm, like, oh, <laughs> wow, how did you do that? <laughs> exactly. Uh, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, Zoe cracking jokes and, and um, some of the fun uh, moments that you've had uh, while filming. But are, is there any moment maybe from behind the scenes otherwise that really kind of sticks out that has been a favorite for you that you really have enjoyed? Um, I really enjoyed this one scene, but sadly, I can't say anything. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> yeah, I kind of got it, keep zipped. Um, but I, it was a really fun experience to, like, play, like, have fun with them. And, like, like, I saw, like, their acting side, and I saw their true side. And then whenever I see their true side, I can see, like, like, in one of the fun scenes, like, the family scenes, I see, like, them, like, have, like, like a tint like it's like they're like still serious but like they they have like a tint of like fun in them and that's what i see in their true selves yeah taylor sheridan is a powerhouse and he quite often uh rehires a lot of actors that he works with for her other for other shows um is there another one of of the projects that you maybe you would like to to be a part of next or in, in the future I would love to really be a part of like any of his shows, but like I would really enjoy being a cowgirl because I am a Texan. I live in San Antonio, Texas, and he has a lot of like cowboy Western movies. So I would love to be a cowgirl. Like, howdy, guys. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be really awesome to be a cowgirl. Maybe if there's a some something project in the future, there's a, a ranch or a farm or something that uh, that we can get you to to be a cowgirl in some way. <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a Yellowstone cameo in in your future or something. <laughs> What do you think uh, it is though about the show Lioness that really has? made it such a captivating uh you know must see show for so many people i'd say like it has a little bit of like everything it has like drama it has action it has like romance it's just literally everything like all squished up into like a one big show it's really awesome and i think you'll always like have something like something will change and like it'll keep you at the edge of your seat literally the whole movie so like you're like oh what's gonna happen next what's gonna happen next so <laughs> i think that definitely keep like captivates the audience a lot because like you know literally anything could happen in a tv show and also it has a lot of everything like I said, I mean, I, I'm constantly finding myself holding my breath when I watch because you just never, like you said, never know what's going to happen. And one moment there could be a big explosion and or another moment like somebody is going, you know, going through something emotionally. There's never a moment where you can let your guard down, <laughs> it seems like, when you watch. 
And that's what makes great, great series because you want to feel like you're on the edge. You want to feel like you're immersed when you're watching. You want to feel like your adrenaline is going or, and you don't know what's going to happen next because there's suspense happening or a twist or, you know, you want to know where your favorite character is going to end up and you can follow so many people um, on that, on the show as well. And, and, be just as invested in every single person whether they're good guys bad guys all of the above good and good flash bad guys you never you know like the gray area you never know who they you know where they what where they side on there's a really great balance of that mm -hmm. i think it's like really nice to be like whoa what's gonna happen next oh my god that happened wait i thought they were gonna do something else it's like whenever your favorite character dies in the show and you're like I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You, you don't see those plot twists coming ever. And that's what also makes it such a great standout series is that you just have to expect the unexpected in a way. <laughs> Are there uh, any other projects that you've been working on besides Lioness that we'll get to see you in soon? Or is there anything personal that you have working on? Well, I have shows on Netflix, Disney, and Nickelodeon, but I can't say what they are yet because they're not out yet. And so, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to. I will honor that and I understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, those were all my questions. Uh, if there's anything else that you'd like to share that we didn't talk about, like uh, you want to tell people to watch out for that you can tease at least about Lioness or say, you know, to, to stay tuned, we're going to, the season's coming shortly here. So. Yeah. So I think y'all should definitely watch Lioness. It's probably one of the best movies or TV shows. <laughs> and it's really awesome. Oh, and also don't, don't think something's going to happen because it might change. <laughs>